Hey guys, Quack and Quasar here, back again with another video. We're actually going to be doing something a little bit different in this video. I felt like playing Star Wars Battlefront. I have not done a video in Star Wars Battlefront in so long, like, absolutely ages. It was one of my, like, one of the games that I did my first lot of videos in. Terrible videos, no editing, no intro whatsoever. And I was terrible when I was doing videos uh, at that point. But I thought I'd, you know, revisit it. I've actually been ill. I've been sick of the past few days. I've got freaking wisdom tooth coming through so i haven't been able to do videos so i've just been chilling out and playing video games you know for like a bit of a personal bit of enjoyment and one of those games that i've been playing oh my god i just got right one of those games i've been playing is star wars battlefront i love this game i think it's so good not not as good as uh, mass effect but i do think it's amazing i do really like this game and uh, really enjoy it so i thought why the hell not do a, uh, a video in it probably not going to do like a ton of videos in it because it's uh, not the freshest of games and it's not going to command that many uh, that many viewers that looks freaking awesome and it's it's uh, you know it's something that uh, it's certainly not something that I'd rather play instead of Mass Effect Andromeda crap I, I was just going into like super focus mode trying to dodge this goddamn tie factor get wrecked ladder but yeah thought I'd do a video in it because I do really love this game I've spent so long in this game as well so I've got a lot of the really cool stuff. It's been out for so long by this point. I'm definitely going to buy Battlefront 2 when that comes out. I heard a rumor, well not really a rumor, I've, I've read somewhere on the internet, I think it's confirmed by EA or DICE, that this uh, that the next game is, is in fact going to be covering Kylo Ren and the new trilogy. And the new trilogy is great and everything, but it's got nothing on the prequels at least. I know prequels aren't everyone's favorite. Uh, thing in the world, but I don't think anyone can, can, can deny that the battles and the scale of the battles and the technology was absolutely awesome, absolutely amazing, and there's tons of Jedi as well, so it would just make for a better game than the new trilogy, so I really don't know why they're not doing a, doing a game in the, uh, the the prequel trilogy in the Clone Wars instead of the, the new trilogy, but oh well, it's still going to be awesome either way, just not quite as awesome this way. I like crash my goddamn X-Wing. I haven't played this game that much. Like I said, I've been playing it over the past few days, but uh, that's all of them. Like that, that's the only time I've been uh, actually playing it. So I haven't got enough uh, enough practice in to actually be good at it. I know there's a tie fighter hanging around. Where's this dude at? Where is this dude? I've actually been playing Walker Assault. I suppose I should have mentioned that. Like I said, bit of a noob with the Batman uh, videos. I do love this game though. If there's a uh, you know if enough of you guys want to see more videos of this, then I may just do videos. But I'll still be focusing primarily. Oh crap! Orbital strike. I'll still be focusing primarily on. Uh, obviously, Mass Effect Andromeda, that's my go-to game, and I love Mass Effect way more than uh, Star Wars Battlefront. But, you know, I'm a, I'm a name. I'm, I'm Qui-Gon. For anyone that doesn't know what that is, it's a, a, a very main character from one of the uh, the prequel Star Wars films. So I guess my, my channel should be somewhat based around Star Wars, or at least a little bit, if you were... Uh, if you get what I mean, I'm just going to chuck a thermal and plot around that. But yeah, I cannot wait for Star Wars Battlefront 2. And I love EA. I love EA. I know they're not everyone's favorite uh, publisher, but you got to admit, they're doing pretty well when it comes to uh, the games that they have, like the games that they own. Mass Effect, freaking Star Wars Battlefront, uh, Battlefield 1, all the Battlefields, and uh, all the future Star Wars Battlefront games, all the future Star Wars games, and uh, Need for Speed. There's, uh, there's a ton of others as well. But it's just impressive how much, you know, how much power they have in the gaming world. And I love a lot of the games. And the graphics are always some of the best graphics in, you know, in terms, in all of gaming. Wow, my accuracy there was not very good. Uh, the graphics are always fantastic with the EA games. I think they're always so good. So I'll definitely be, definitely be playing. Oh no, I'm about to die! No, don't kill me! Oh, I'm dead. I'll definitely be playing uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 when it comes out and do, be doing tons of uh, videos. For anyone that doesn't know, there's actually going to be a campaign this time around. Again, for anyone that doesn't know, this game does not have a dedicated campaign. It has a few like tutorial missions that really are only the single player content and are really the only single player content in the game. And then uh, it has nothing else, no other single player content. And it's not it's not the single player content that is that big of a deal. It's that it, it needs a story to make people emotionally invested in the game. And uh, apparently the, the next game is going to have that, which is absolutely awesome. Cannot wait for it. But again, <laughs> I hope it's going to be in... Uh, the Clone Wars, but I really, I think it is going to be in the new trilogy. I hope it, I would hope it's, it will be in the Clone Wars, but I don't think it is. It's going to be in the new trilogy. New, like I said, new trilogy is great, but there's nowhere near as many Jedi. There's freaking Kylo Ren, who's like a wimpy teenage Jedi or evil teenage Jedi, who does more uh, complaining and battling and more, you know, like serious stares and stuff than actual fighting and really isn't that great to be beaten by Rey, who was like a, a noob. So he's really not got that good of a, uh, a, a saber operator or saber fighter and then there is uh, Rey who is gonna get better but still not really you know at Mace Windu 
standards, he was one of the best sort of uh, swordsmen of the Jedi Order in the time of the Clone Wars. And uh, you've got, oh, I can't remember, it's Finn, I think he's called. He's he's just like a, a, I guess, like a normal soldier. He's not really anything special. And uh, Luke Skywalker, who's awesome and everything, but he's a pensioner now, so he's probably not going to be doing too many uh, intense fights. They, they really missed out on some, you know, the, some crazy potential with the uh, with with the Clone Wars. They should have done another Clone Wars game, another Clone Wars Star Wars Battlefront game, that is, because there's actually going to be a ton of uh, Star Wars games from a bunch of different uh, developers who are all working on the who are all on the EA uh, publisher payroll. So Respawn Entertainment, I think, is one of them. They're the guys that did uh, Titanfall and Titanfall 1. They're doing a, a freaking Star Wars game. Of all the people, they are doing a Star Wars game, which is crazy. It's awesome, though. Uh, there's a lot of... Di oh, no! Oh, god damn it. You goddamn rebel scum. But, yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, there's, like, four different Star Wars video game projects that they're working on. I would love to see more Clone Wars games, but especially Clone Wars... Uh, Star Wars Battlefront games, that would be awesome. But, yeah, like I said, I think they're going to be doing the new trilogy. Which is a big, uh, a big bummer and a big no-no for me. It's still gonna be awesome. I just prefer to run around as freaking Mace Windu than goddamn Kylo Ren. You know, freaking Darth Vader wanna be. I'd rather walk around with Mace Windu. Uh, window, window, not window, Windu. Crap, there's someone around here. How the hell did he get past that guy? What? <laughs> Why was he trying to attack me? God, they really like nerfed. That shotgun. The thing about this game is I love it. I always enjoy it when I play it, but then after I play it for about like five days straight, I take a break from it. Like literally five days straight. I love this game. It's awesome. Yeah, the multiplayer is awesome in my opinion. But when I do play it, I'd usually I play it for ages and then take a massive break from it because I start getting bad at it and start, you know, playing it too much, get really frustrated. So I take a uh, break at it. And every time I do return to it, there's like crazy differences in the weapons and stuff. I remember there was like a one of the newer weapons, I think, was brought in in the uh, the Best Pin DLC. When they uh, when they added that, that was like the god weapon. That was like the go-to weapon, and I absolutely love that thing. That combined with my elite axe, uh, not elite axe as well. What the hell am I talking about? That combined with my uh, elite uh, Xbox One control was just like a, it was like going me going into god mode. It was awesome, but they've definitely uh, nerfed the gun since. It's nowhere near as good. As uh, it used to be. So I'm rocking with this uh, other weapon, which is the other weapon that came in. Oh no, great! In the uh, Fast Pin DLC. I think it came. Oh, no, I think it was in the uh, the Death Star DLC, actually. We gotta defend this freaking thing. Freaking Stormtroopers! God damn it! I'm popping. Hey, I'm gonna. I like rocking with the, the Deoxys grenade and the healing grenade, because it's just. It's like a points, a points farm as well, because you can hit. So, it likes to get so much residual damage with the, with the Deoxys grenade and get so much, like, a. Uh, you can be such a team player if you rock with the uh, the healing the healing grenade as well. Because you can get you, you know you can strengthen your uh, your teammates so so much, and you can also get a lot of uh, rack up a lot of. Oh no! Run! Oh damn! I put my deoxys grenade down instead of my healing grenade. So I was probably wrecked then. I was probably gonna get wrecked then. But damn, we got a lot of uh, uplinks available. Sad though because we're probably gonna lose the uh, the ATATs. Have a lot of health. I wonder if I'll die. Oh thank God, I didn't die. There's a lot of freaking stormtroopers around there. Get wrecked. Oh, I got a kill. I love this. Uh, they definitely nerfed this uh, grenade secondary fire part, like secondary fire mode for this gun. They've definitely nerfed that as well since the last time I played it. Last time I played it was when the uh, the Death Star DLC came out. I didn't really bother with the uh, the Rogue One DLC, the Rogue One Scarf DLC that much. I didn't. It's probably my least favorite of all the DLCs they added to this game. I've since played it a little bit, but it's it's certainly not. I think the best ones are Best Spin and Death Star. It's certainly not to, you know, to those standards. How the hell are we going to push up through here? There is like, everything wants to kill me in this corridor. I'm going to help these dudes out. I'm going to heal them, give them a little bit of extra health. Put a Deoxys down there, but there's really nothing else I can do. Correct! There we go. We're going to kill. I had a warm-up match before this, and I did. Honestly, just absolutely awful. So I'm really I'm really glad to see that I'm actually able to get a few kills at least. Oh, my God. He's got, he's got a freaking... Uh, Blast a cannon and he's shooting everyone down. That's a really good place to put it. How many kills we got? Around 19 kills, 13 deaths. Not bad. I remember in my in like the my, my prime, the prime of my Star Wars Battlefront life. I was in like 65, 67 kills per game, and that was on like a regular basis. Not to brag or anything. I just remember how how fun it was. Oh no! No, oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, there was all manner of stone troops. Goddamn. I, I, well, I can't remember what he's called, like Admiral Krennic or something, Administrator Krennic. 
But yeah, I was saying like all kinds of freaking crazy kill counts when I uh, was like properly into this game and playing it like, pl kind of playing it like uh, I'm playing uh, Mass Effect Andromeda right now. Oh no, freaking missile. Oh crap. God damn it. Fall damage. Raised to the fall damage. Oh no. Oh my god, I'm getting killed by the same thing again. God damn infantry threat. That's what home did on me before. I'm just going to try and put as many uh, bullets into that, those uh, goddamn ATATs when I can. I've also got a missile uh, vehicle turret. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. I'm going to lose this one. Oh no. Ow. God damn, this gun's amazing. The fire rate is good. It's pretty accurate, but you can't aim down your sights for anyone that's wondering. It just turned, it goes into a grenade launcher mode. So I, I was useless there. It's really useless at long range. It can be useful, but not all the time. Oh, awesome. I love this bit. I love this bit. And yeah, come on. We've got freaking uh, speed as a tank them as well. Oh my God, they pushed up. That's, that's what, oh cool, we uh, took one out. That's really what you gotta do when uh, when uh, you're playing as the stone troopers. Oh, come on, that dude in the freaking speeder. He's just, yes. Oh, my God. He's just filled with testosterone right now. Get wrecked. At, oh, I forgot his name again. I forgot his name. Administrator Krennic. Who the hell calls themselves Administrator Krennic? That is the most boring name ever. That is so boring. It really is. But yeah, that was a really, really cool match. We're actually going to jump into another match because that wasn't a full match. I'll be back with you guys in a second. Goddamn Hooli, 86. Look at a freaking MVP in all three ways. Alright, so we've jumped back into another match, we're actually on one of my favourite maps, I love this map, I can't remember what it's called, I like it that much, I forgot the name, but I love this map, oh my god, there's a freaking ATSD, ah! oh my god, I gotta run, I gotta run, I love this game, I do love this game, the, uh, the multiplayer is so fun, it really is, oh crap, we got a freaking helmet head, get wrecked, god damn, god damn, I do love this map, if you're on this map as a stormtrooper, you kind of signed your uh, death warrant at that point, because you're so bright white, on this uh, goddamn completely dark charcoal map. It is a very cool looking map. The map design and just the graphics and the art style of this game is just fantastic. It really is. I probably will do more videos in this game at some point. Not as many as Mass Effect Andromeda, obviously, because that's like my go-to game right now. And it will be for a long time. I don't plan on uh, stopping playing that ever. But uh, I, I, well, at one point, obviously, in the distant future, I might... Uh, might do videos and uh, focus on doing videos in other games, but Mass Effect Andromeda will be my go-to game for a long time. So I'm not quitting that down. I got a double kill there. I just thought I'll jump into uh, this game for a bit. I do enjoy this game a lot. It's one of my favorite multiplayers out there. I do love it. I like it a lot. Oh, crap. Damn, they are. I can't do anything at this range either. Like, it's, it's just... It, if I had it like a, a sight on it or something, it would be very good. Like it would be very good. This is an absolutely superb weapon. But uh, at that range, I'm just going to hide. I'm just going to hide at that range. Damn, there's a lot of dudes coming in. If you play as a... Oh, crap! If you play as a Shadow Trooper on this map, though, you blend in very well. Like superbly uh, if you play as a Shadow Trooper. You, honestly, because you're, you're just like the same color as the rest of the map. It's like if you play as a Storm Trooper in, uh, on Hearth. Then again, the Storm Troopers do have black undersuits. Oh, crap! So uh, if you play that on Hearth, oh crap, I gotta push because that uh, orbital strike didn't take me out. If you play as a Stormtrooper on Hearth, uh, you're still gonna have some black parts of your uniform showing. Oh my god, I gotta be careful. I'm in freaking enemy territory. <laughs> what? Someone's. Oh no, oh no. I <laughs> that never gets old. It really doesn't. Let's just pop one of these out. In fact, I'm gonna make a push. I'm gonna make. Oh crap, oh crap. No! I'm gonna actually push up. I'm gonna chuck a uh, Diopsis grenade up there. See if we can repel some of the enemies. I'm gonna push up. Uh, mess up their advance into our uh, into our objective area. I'm just gonna put one of these down as well here. Get wrecked! Get wrecked, my friend. I'm gonna make a stand here. Make a final stand. Get wrecked! Oh crap! They're gonna run around the corner and wreck me if I'm not careful. They're not gonna get any kills with that. They must have jump packed out of there or something. They must have jump packed the hell out of there. I've got my turret here. That should hold down anyone that comes down this corner. I'm going to focus on the walker. Actually, no, I'm not going to focus on the walker because I can do, like, no damage right now to the walker. Not with this gun. I'm just going to hold down here. Stop the advance. I love uh, Star Wars Battlefront and uh, Battlefield 1 just for the size of the maps and how freaking decent, uh, like, decent the maps are and how decent the player count is. It's just so good. It makes, for, like, it makes strategy so, like, it, uh, rewarding and everything. Whereas, you know, if you're on, I'm going to actually put this turret down here. If you're on, like, say, Halo 5 or Black Ops uh, Black Ops 3 or something, the player count obviously is tiny compared to that in the group. Yeah, uh, the, um, what do you call it? The map size is tiny as well. So it makes strategy, at least strategy, you know, of, like, holding 
hold the line and like don't let enemies pass here, past this point and stuff. Like you like you, you know you do in this game or Battlefield One. It makes it kind of hard to do in uh, Halo Five and uh, Battle, uh, Black Ops Three. But I that's what I love these games for. One of the main reasons I love this game, these games, uh, these games being Stars Battlefront and uh, Battlefield One. They're just so awesome. They really. Are. I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna go into here and capture this. I'm gonna hold on to this. Whoa! Oh crap! I didn't mean to go in there. In fact, that might actually be a good thing. I'm gonna try and hold on to this uh, rocket launcher that I've got now. That's gonna be very, very useful. Where are these guys? I should. I, I don't know what to do. Everything just offers so many different modes of fun. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna try and uh, help take this. I'll give these dudes some extra help. Oh my god! He freaking smart rocketed us all the way to oblivion right there. Cherry Heather, get wrecked, Cherry Heather. God damn. I'm gonna head to two, uh, to two. I don't know why I said two. It said it's because there's a two next to it. I'm gonna head to that one um, first. Try and retake that. Hold that one down. Hold the line. We'll head into that. Gotta be careful though. I know there's a dude around here. Unless he died before. It's the smart rocket dude, the cherry, cherry Heather. Oh, there's a dude here. Okay, so we've recaptured the. Oh no! Ah! Don't hurt me, please. Don't, don't kill me. I'm a pacifist. Let me kill you, but don't kill me, please. I'm gonna pop this uh, healing grenade down. There we go, we activated that. I'm gonna make a stand. I love, I just love this map, love this game, love this map. It's so good. I'm gonna chuck a uh, deoxys grenade through there. You, you make a better move. God, look at that, like that freaking, I don't know what you call that. Look at the brightness through that door, it's insane. Oh no, crap, oh no. Wow, that is a lot of uh, death. Run! Ah! There's so many enemies. Just move, everyone move. We've got a ton of enemies in here. There's so, someone just threw. <laughs> he just killed himself. Someone just threw a grenade. That was the moment he knew he screwed up. We got like half a team in here. But if Darth Vader like came through here, we'd be screwed. Up. I've got a, a rocket launcher. If need. Oh my God! Speaking of someone, there's an enemy. Oh, I think Boba Fett's upstairs. I can see him on the. Uh, I can see him on the radar. I think he stood on that little like the, the bunker that we're in. I think he stood on the roof upstairs. I'm gonna chuck a uh, deoxys grenade down here. I think if Boba Fett came through, he'd probably get pretty badly uh, wrecked. I don't think Boba Fett could put up, uh, it, you know, uh, put up a fight against all the guys in here. We've got quite a few guys. We've got like a whole freaking squad in here. It's pretty damn cool. Oh, crap. Freaking hell, they're coming in. They're coming in. I'm going to heal these dudes up. I am the medic. Oh, they, oh my God. This is so cool. Why would you put a, a shield? I guess, no, that's a good idea to put a shield down there. Oh, my God. There's just so much death. Run! Ah! There, and with the deoxys grenades. I hit them back though with the, uh, the deoxys grenades. Oh my god. Oh my god. Double assist. Oh, thanks for that teammate. Stealing my kills. Holy crap. There's a lot of enemies in there. I'm gonna heal these dudes up. Get wrecked! Oh my god. How did he nearly take me out? God damn. Yeah, they're not getting through here unless they bring like a hero or something. I'm gonna hold, like I said, I'm gonna hold on to this missile. I keep getting tempted. If, see, if someone shoots that, now nah, I'm gonna shoot it actually. I'm gonna actually shoot it. If someone shoots that, if one of the enemies shoots that, they take all of these dudes that are out around here. That was such a bad place to put it. Why'd you put it there, teammate? You goddamn moron. You should heal these dudes up, give these guys some. Oh crap, they hit us with a deoxys. See, deoxys are just perfect. They're so good for getting enemies out. It's like a trench weapon. It's so good for getting enemies that are like bogged down, like holding one area. It's so good for removing them. I'm surprised there's even like some of our team over at the other place. There's so many guys there. It's gonna be like 20 guys there or something. There's loads. We just gotta hold. What the hell is that noise? Sounds like a freaking whale. It's just like the emperor stood at the uh, stood at the back of the battlefield, like making whale noises, calling his whale whale friends in. Let's just heal these dudes up again. Oh my God! Grenades! Everybody run! That guy just turned around like, stop shooting at me, bro. There's no way they're getting through it. They need, they need a hero. I nearly started singing, man. Sorry, that would have been bad for your ears. Oh, crap. They need a hero. No, I'm going to stop. We're just going to hold this area down. Oh, my God. Oh, well, like, he was, like, running in with a shield. Like, that, like, that's going to help you at this point, bro. With all these dudes shooting point blank range at you, like that is gonna help you at all. Move, bro! I can't see what I'm killing. What? I don't know why he's. That's a fair point. Standing there, you can really hold the enemies down, but there's no one coming, bro. There's just too many people here. They're not getting through here. They, we, I guess we could make a run for the other one, but I don't think we should. I think we should just hold down this area. 
Is uh, one uplink is certainly better than uh, no uplinks. Just chuck this down here, give him a bit of health. The hitters with Deoxys is at the end there. I'm gonna chuck mine down as well. The Deoxys is just like my favorite grenade ever. It's just so good for like holding down in areas like, you know, through a choke point, you just throw it through there. No enemy's gonna come through there. It's also great for uh, for getting enemies out of those choke points as well. Because if you can get, if they could get one in now, they could push us all back and then they, they could gain a lot of room in this corridor. Hello, friend. You've got an oddly shaped um, shoulder. How are you doing? Right, we're gonna head out. Hey, we, they're gonna, oh crap, they got a, a freaking hero. Oh yeah, they got Vader, they got Vader. Oh no, they got Vader. He's screwed now. Like, he's he's really badly screwed at this point because right, we, we got our uh, missile off. He is screwed at this point. I don't think I don't think he's gonna make it through there. There's way too many guys for. Oh no, I can still hear him. He's still he's still kicking. Vader's still kicking. Goddamn evil pensioner. Oh crap. I'm chucking it. Oh damn, he took me out. How many kills do we have? We're at uh, 15 kills, five deaths. So we got three KD ratio. That's not bad. That is not very bad at all. But I'm gonna go on the E-Web here. We'll hit this. Get wrecked! Oh crap, he's about ah! He's about to shoot me. He's about to shoot me. I'm gonna go back on. Oh no! Right, you got the E-Web. Shoot them then. Get wrecked! Oh my god, we got freaking ATSD as well. Oh my god, this is dense. I'm gonna head back inside. Help them out a little bit. Just shoot everyone. Right, we took the health down quite a bit. We have still good. We've, it's, you know, we're still capable of winning. So I'm gonna head back. And uh, capture this when it becomes available. This guy's got the same idea. I'm actually going to jump into a speeder. T47 speeder. These things, they definitely nerfed these things. Like, they definitely freaking annihilated the, the power of these things. They're so they're so good against uh, ATSDs, uh, at s But they've definitely nerfed, like, the power of the uh, the, the, the blasters. Like, the, the main gun things. They're just so bad for taking out other ships. I know this war. They're so bad for taking out other ships. They really are. We just, we just got a freaking assist with someone called Squid Daddy. So, uh, that happened. Oh, crap. Yeah, they're, just, they're really hard to freaking drive as well. They definitely nerfed these since the last time I played it. And we got a goddamn, uh, TIE Fighter behind me. Crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. See if we can get some kills. Get wrecked! Get wrecked! Crap. Got a boost up here. We got a kill. We, get, we, I guess they're not bad. They're quite stable when you're shooting down at infantry. They're quite good at shooting the infantry, but they're pretty damn bad at taking out the uh, other ships, taking out the enemy ships. I'm like super close to my screen right now. I'm just trying to get as good of a view as I can. I'm gonna uh, swerve around here. Oh, I can see some dudes. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. I'm gonna hop out of this. If I uh, don't get any kills soon, we'll see how we do though. Well, let's just see how we do. This is like one of the most effective uh, ships to be driving right now. Cause oh wow, that was so satisfying. The exploding looks just freaking. They're just so satisfying. It's like so awesome. I'll hop out of this if I don't get very many kills with this, but I seem to be doing okay with it. Oh no, no! Oh my god, I nearly crashed. I think I did crash, but the game like gave me another chance. Like, no, no, let's just give Quagan another chance. He has got a uh, Star Wars themed name after all. He deserves another chance. Once those uh, freaking uplinks go off, once those uh, Y wings attack the AT-ATs, I'm going in like crazy. I'm just gonna take, gonna uh, wrap right around this freaking, uh, get wrecked, this freaking AT-ATs. Hugging onto the legs like a horny dog, I guess. That will be the analogy. I'm going to cut it to super focus mode. God, those freaking dark stormtroopers, the, uh, the shadow troopers. They're so hard to see. They are so hard to see on this map. Especially at distance. Uh, how, how anyone kills them, I don't know. Get wrecked! Oh, crap. That was a freaking pro droid. I couldn't even see what I'm shooting at. I'm just aiming where I uh, see like bullets coming from, where I see lasers coming from. Where are they? Where are they? I got freaking glint on my uh, my speeder. Oh, I can see him coming through that. Get wrecked! There we go. We're gonna kill. Once I'm used to like f getting kills, you know, from uh, air to ground, like air to ground kills, it's such a good way of like racking up kills without racking up any deaths. Doesn't seem like uh, the Imperials are really uh, bringing any Tie Fighters up or anything. Oh crap! Oh no! Wow, I nearly crashed then. That was so close. Freaking up, I'm so into this. I'm like shouting and stuff. I'm giving myself a headache. 
Gun knows what I'm doing to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bros. Let's see if I can... Uh, yeah, the white the white stormtroopers are so easy to see, but the, uh, the dark ones... Oh, crap! Oh, my God. The dark ones are freaking impossible to see. What are we on now? What are we on? All right, we're on uh, 23 kills, 5 deaths. Not bad. Not as good as I used to uh, hit, but that was way prior to uh, any kind of YouTube channel. Ah, uh, there's one, there's one, there's one, get wrecked! But yeah, like I said earlier on in this video, I used to do like t uh, quite a few Battlefront videos, but I, like, I they were just like straight up live streams. They weren't edited at all, there was no intro. I was really nervous, so I thought I'd just, you know, do some more videos. See how it is to do videos in uh, like proper videos in Star Wars Battlefront. Oh crap, I'm getting hammered to hell! I gotta be careful as well, because the uplinks are about to take the, uh... Oh no, the uplinks are about to take the, uh, the... Walker's shields offline. I'm gonna stay back a little bit. Um, because this, this ship's just gonna be so handy once those, uh, Walker's shields go down. Come on! Oh, we've got freaking Han Solo on the field as well. Awesome. I know I can see a dude down there. Well, I can't actually see him, but I can see where the lasers are coming from. There we go, we got him, freaking sniper. We got him, R2. Freaking 25 kills. Yeah, yeah! Is it up yet? Is it up? I just want to kill some walkers, man. Get wrecked! Right, yeah, it's coming. Freaking wine wings are coming. I'm about to take this guy out. Come on. I'm just going to go into full folks. MLG, Qui-Gon, Quasar mode. Get ready, get ready! Oh my god, I'm going! I'm going! Right on my uh, sensor jammer on. Get wrecked! Oh, I'm already getting hit. Holy crap. I'm already getting hit. This is freaking sad. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on, R2. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. They freaking hit me too much. It shook out the uh, the cable. God damn. I'm going to try again. I'm trying again. I'm trying again. Get Rex. You will not repel me. I'm Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon, please. Oh. oh, crap. Oh, crap. We've got another. Oh, if I fail this, I've screwed it up. For oh, he took me out. We've got enough uplinks to take this thing out. Hasn't got a, uh, a lot of health. God damn! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Freaking out, it's got 30 health still. Oh crap! Freaking kill it! Oh no, god damn it. We're putting all the fire we can down, but holy crap, no. Oh, I'm just gonna shoot. Look at that dead walker next to me. It's so sad. Get wrecked! Oh no, freaking stormtroopers for days around here. Dead. Dead. Oh no, oh no, it's got one health. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? Oh yes, we did it. We did it! <laughs> Look, that, that freaking stormtrooper just beating the hell out of the rebel around there. 